To combat climate change, we need to stop relying on fossil fuels. Renewable energy sources are great, but they suffer from intermittency issues. Solar power needs the sun to shine and wind turbines need the wind to blow. Batteries aren't yet good enough to store all the energy they create. A clear solution to this is nuclear power. Nuclear has low operating costs and it's 8,000 times more efficient than fossil fuels. It's also clean. According to the World Nuclear Association, during its life cycle, nuclear energy produces about the same amount of CO2 per unit of electricity as wind and even less than solar. Of course, Course, nuclear power has problems too. Reactors cost a lot to build, nuclear waste is radioactive and accidents happen. The progress of nuclear power hit a major setback after the 2011 disaster at Fukushima. That said, the scale of the challenge facing humanity is so great that we're going to need some help from nuclear power in order to meet carbon targets. And this progress is starting to happen. Right now there are at least 57 nuclear reactors being built around the world. According to the International Energy Association, 8 gigawatts of new nuclear nuclear capacity came online last year. The thing is, to reach net zero we're going to need four times more than that every single year until 2030, according to the Financial Times. And the best way to invest in the future of this nuclear power is through the fuel uranium. Uranium itself is an abundant metal. According to BMO, global stockpiles are 3.8 times higher than annual demand. But not many people are mining uranium right now. Demand is outstripping supply by 50 million pounds per year, according to the Financial Times, and this is quickly depleting stockpiles. As a result, the price of uranium is starting to rise, hitting $56 a pound. Today, there's plenty of ways to invest in this trend. Uranium mining stocks like Camco, Energy Fuels, Denison Mines, and Uranium Energy Corp offer investors direct and mostly unhedged exposure to the price of uranium. Meanwhile, larger cap mining companies like BHP Billiton and Rio Tinto also have uranium mines as well as exposure to other commodities like copper which is used a lot in electric vehicles. Buying small individual miners is highly risky since they often go bankrupt. They usually operate in high risk countries and the process of mining is difficult and expensive. But when they do succeed they can produce big returns. A less risky way to invest in uranium is through ETFs. The global uranium ETF URA provides exposure to a range of companies involved in uranium mining and the production of nuclear components and it's got an expense ratio of 0.68%. There's also the Sprott Uranium Miners ETF and the Sprott Brought Physical Uranium Trust, which invests in physical uranium and currently holds over £61 million of the metal. This one has an expense ratio of 0.7%. If the price of uranium continues to increase, these stocks and ETFs should all rise in value. But this is my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I do hold shares in UEC, URA and Energy Fuels. If you're interested in more detailed investing ideas, make sure to visit our website, overlookedalpha.com.